Hi, I'm Lee Herbert from CapturingPassion.com and you're not, but if you'd like to have my teeth, you can buy them from a catalogue, just like I did. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use J-cuts and L-cuts to smooth out an edit point in Final Cut Pro 10. So I'm just going to play this footage. This is a four-person interview that my team and I shot in the F-Stop Lounge Fiji workshop in Fiji. And the challenge here is that I've got, you know, five different camera angles and four different audio sources. And sometimes when you go from one mic to another, the audio levels change a bit. And, and that's quite challenging, particularly if two people are talking sort of over each other, like Nick and Tony are here. So I'll just play this for you and you'll see what the challenge is with that, that yeah, sort of sequence. I mean, when you're working for magazines... So you can hear that, yeah, the, you know, sort yeah. of as Nick comes in, his volume comes right up. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a J-cut and an L-cut to smooth that out. And what a J-cut and an L-cut is, is you move the audio from the first or the second clip underneath the edit point. So the audio just starts or finishes a little bit before, a little bit after the clip visually finishes and that helps smooth the bend. So I'll show you what I'm going to do. So first of all I'm going to take the second clip, just double click it, bring the audio out and then I'm going to drag this audio out just a little bit and then have it fade in and then I'm going to take this clip before and drag the audio out from there just a little bit and have it fade in as well and now when you listen to it it should the change should be a lot smoother a bit more about well, how you story tell with that, that yeah sort of i mean when you're working for magazines it's not and there you go that's how you can use j cuts and l cuts to smooth out an edit point that's a bit extreme be sure to check out the tutorial section of capturingpassion.com for more tutorials like this see you next time